Merry Christmas, dudes. Um, I'm finally off work for the rest of the year. Now it's time to do some RC carring. Uh, it's my next project, I guess, while I'm waiting on Shapeways junk. But I uh, picked up this uh, Schumacher Cat, Pro Cat, Schumacher Pro Cat uh, on eBay a few weeks back. Um, this is just a cat XLS. I just, I'm only, only brought that out here just to show, uh, some of the similarities, some of the differences between the two cars. Um, I had a, a, a pro cat back around 2000 that I'd gotten on eBay. Um, and I didn't know, I really, back then, I guess I wasn't really aware that there was a difference. I didn't know there was a I'd heard cat or pro cat. I thought they were the same thing. Um, so kind of only recently figured that out. But anyhow, um, this guy is, uh, you know, at first glance on the auction, I thought it looked like it was in pretty good shape. I think this is um, the correct body. I don't know if it's an original body or not, but um, it just seems like uh, kind of recently cut out. So, so probably not because the car's car's been through some stuff um separated from its parents at an early age um probably probably uh did some drugs you know um lived on the street for a while anyhow let's go through this real quick pop this body off i'm gonna actually try to paint this um maybe over the break I haven't painted a body since I was uh, probably 20 years old. Much older than that now, a little bit. Uh, we got some old sticky goo, you know, on the chassis, which is normal. Um, there's a steering servo installed, but this is where things really get kind of interesting. This... Um, I believe is where the standard um, <clears throat> bell cranks would mount and you can see uh, those, those have been replaced with uh, what you might refer to as a homebrew uh, homebrew option um, there's other names for that but um, I don't believe that is correct. I'm going to double check that. But I think that the steering was uh, kind of supposed to be the same as what's in the um, uh, cat. Um, you know, kind of hung from the top. So not sure what all I'm missing there. But I think I can, you know... Uh, source parts for that maybe some cat xls parts uh what else is going on a lot of these bolts in here are not even screwed in that like knuckle there so i'm gonna go through all that and see is there a reason for that or just maybe um didn't get around to it uh, these four uh, screws here on top and their buddies on the bottom are just kind of notorious for stripping out. They go into some pretty uh, delicate little uh, pieces on either side of the gearbox that are kind of sort of, I wouldn't say part of the hinge mechanism, but they, they set this spacing here you can see some stuff going on in there and also uh they allow this whole front gearbox to kind of slide back and forth or whatever um i don't know if those are messed up or not but anyways um i had kind of uh i, I think this is you know the most common fix for that is just to drill those out and go all the way through with some longer bolts from the bottom so i'll do that same thing here no reason to replace something if it's just going to break again um 
no big deal there. Uh, the shocks are very tired, but they, they seem like they're not too banged up. Those are not original shock collars. I don't think this had collars like that. I think it had these little spacers that you just snap on. I'm pretty sure that the Pro Cat had that same thing. Um, this bumper uh, looks like somebody cut the, the wings off of it because I, I, again, I believe that it was supposed to have a similar bumper to the cat. Um, we'll double check that. Not sure what. Oh, I see. Somebody wanted access to those screws there. Uh, funny enough, I don't know that those screws really do a whole lot. I've never really figured out this little mechanism here that slides back and forth. And in fact, that one doesn't have it. So anyhow, I'll, maybe I'll make another video on that little guy. Um, oh, real quick. This is, uh, hold on a second. What I've been drinking on here lately. Oh my God, is it delicious. Run right out and get you some of that um, for Christmas. Mm. So, uh, let's see. Almost done here. Um, I guess one. Of, this is one of the main areas where these cars start looking a little different is this back portion you can see you just have like a molded plastic um shock tower or shock mount whatever you want to call it whereas kind of got that old uh, i don't know what you call that stuff it shit's hard it cuts your fingers same with the this this uh this whole back end on the cat is pretty complicated you can adjust that um toe in um, with those little rods there, these, these guys, and, and also on top of that, there is like an upper, uh, control arm or suspension arm, whatever. Whereas with the Pro Cat, you can go with a much simpler approach, just a single, um, oh God, dude. You can, uh, if, if, I can never remember the name of those doodads, but there they are. Much, much simpler suspension. I don't know if it's, if this was way better or not. Um, you'd think if it was, they might have kept it here, or this may have just been their uh, attempt at making this buggy a little cheaper. Uh, but anyways, um. Yeah, and definitely the car I had back in the early 2000s was set up like this. I'd never seen all this madness before. Um, again, shocks have these uh, collars that don't belong. So I'll rebuild those shocks, but um, the belt feels okay. Uh, the drivetrain feels pretty smooth, so hopefully I can just go through the, you know, disassemble the car and, um, and check on all that stuff and have the chassis and the, uh, you know, suspension all put back together. And the only thing I'm hoping, the only thing I have to kind of, uh, find new parts for is the, uh, steering set up there. Um, would be pretty cool to find a new chassis kit. I don't know how common these are. And of course we got some extra holes on the bottom. And uh, I'm sure you can tell even from my, with my shaky camera work that there's a, that looks like a sheetrock screw under there. I'm not sure where that's going. Probably to mount the servo. I mean, geez, dude. To see stuff like this just hurts me in the worst 
way. And then uh, those are some homemade uh, um, bell crank mounts there as well. Look at that piece. Yep. Dremel. Looks like you used some uh, safety scissors and a Dremel there to make that. Looks like it's just a little brace to keep it from flexing, but um, yeah. Anyhow, so uh, yeah, this will be my next 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 thing to kind of tinker around on um, over the holidays. Maybe can get that um, operational within the next week or so. Uh, hope all is well with you guys. Hope you got something to mess with um, and. Uh, try to survive the holidays and um yeah that's all i got all right see you next time